I'll check. Hold it. All right, there is no one under my bed. Yes. I know. Maybe I'll have better luck next time. See you guys later. Uh, a night out with the girls. I really dig it. You know, when we get together, we say, let your hair down, take off your eyelashes, and let it all hang out. <laughs> Terrific. I do something. You know, it's not easy to get four chicks together. I mean, when I started out tonight, first I had to call Paulette, right, and ask her what she was wearing. And then after I called Paulette, I had to call Trudy and tell Trudy what Paulette and I were wearing. And then after I called Trudy, I had to call Renata and tell Renata what Trudy and Paulette and I were wearing. And then after that, I had to call Paulette back and tell her what everybody was wearing. I mean, dig it. Eight toll calls, 24 bucks, and I haven't even left the house yet. Thanks. You're welcome, pal. <laughs> All right, so we decide to go out for dinner. OK, so well, the problem was the two of us were on a bread diet and two of us were on a water diet. So Paulette said the only place that we could all go for dinner would be Sing Sing. I think that's funny. Anyway. Oh, poor Paulette. You know, she's really fat. I mean, she's heavy. No, she's really fat. She's fat. It's hard for her. I mean, she really has to count her calories. You know, this week alone, she's up to 1,800,000. How are you guys doing? Now, you look awful. What's the matter? You know, I think it's very important that you talk to your plants. I mean, I know they're not human or anything like that, but I think it's really important. I mean, it doesn't have any human qualities. And stop looking at me like that. <laughs> anyway, the girl and I met at this restaurant, and uh, it was terrific. I mean, we were going to have dinner, but oh, Paula said the funniest thing. I mean, she said she couldn't understand why she wasn't losing any weight. And then the check comes, right? Four spaghettis, four garlic breads, four hot fudge sundaes. And that was just for Paulette alone. Oh, I gotta put this stuff away. You know, I can never throw anything away, especially shoes. I'm a shoe freak. I mean, like these. I'll never wear them again. <laughs> But you can never tell. I better save them just in case. <laughs> you know, all this talk about food has made me hungry. Oh, you want to hear something funny? Paulette said to me, what do you think of monogamy? And I said, I think it's terrific. I want Boardwalk and Park Place. <laughs> I got a defrosted thing. What's that? A footprint from the abominable snowman. <laughs> anyway. So the four of us are sitting down at this restaurant, and we're yakking, having a terrific time. And then this guy comes up, and he says he doesn't want to intrude, and that he's really sober, right? And then he asks the eight of us if we want to have a drink. <laughs> now, that would have been cool, but our next clue that he was a little bit, you know, came when he said, uh, let me pull up a chair and sit down. Well, he pulls up the chair and sits down. But it would have been cooler if he'd pulled up the chair first and then sat down, you know what I mean? <laughs> And he was a real turkey. I mean, you know, real macho and all that stuff. I mean, he was like really a Tarzan type. You know, he had a 48-inch chest and an IQ to match. <laughs> Ta-da! As you can see, I am wearing gentleman's jammies. You see, the gift didn't work out, so I kept the wrapper. Anyway. A night out with the girls can really be a trip. Oh, you know, one of my best friends not only loves going out with the girls, but enjoys having them over for a quiet evening at home. He's quite a guy. <laughs> it gives me an idea. I think I'll call him. Good night. <laughs>